Yesu FTX1 new firmware. Go to this link, scroll down and go to updates and then down to the new firmware and you've got the instructions there as well. So there's the firmware update and the firmware information. It says CAT operation is now supported. The CAT operation reference manual will also be officially released. Improve the bug that prevents star hash from being registered in DTMF memory. When replying to an APRS message, the message on the input screen is now clear. Previously, the received message was copied to the input screen and had to be deleted manually. Review the selectable step within the FM step menu in operation settings. Other minor fixes. Of course, we read the manual, scroll down. I've got the SD card that was in the radio and saved to in my computer because I've done several videos on this. But if you look here, how to confirm the firmware version, you press the function knob, touch extension settings, and then go that tap it and then you'll get your firmware version and how to update, put the card in. And when you're pressing the QMB, uh, it looks like the MW and the MV key. Uh, you, then it gives you the option to add the latest firmware. So let's do it. So on the right, you'll see my SD card that's plugged into the PC. If we double click, you'll see the previous firmware that I did. So we're just going to highlight and delete like so. Right click, delete. Yes. And then I'm going to highlight these ones here on this side. Just highlight. If I can, I might just drag them actually, it might be easier. So we're going to click one at a time and just drag and let go. There's one, two, I think it's five, three, four. And the UK model should be around or available for dispatch on the 12th. So there you are. We've got all those files in there. Let's look at the difference. Um, Hard to say. Let's just get it into the radio and the radio will tell us what is needed. So grab your grab it from the PC and plug it into your radio. Okay, we're at the radio. SD card is back in. Got the power supply connected and the battery removed. Turn off. Like so. And we're going to hold down the QMB and the far right two buttons marked VM and memory. So just and then turn on the radio at the same time. One, two, three. Oh, it's quite fiddling. Uh, one, two, three. Sorry, it's gone a bit dark. Keep your finger on. And then now, before we would turn it to the right, the function button, five times. One, two, three, four, five. And it checks. Now I'm seeing that it's saying no such no such file, you know, available. So I'm just going to tap it, all three, and go update. Let it do its thing. Just be patient while the blue bits fill up. And don't turn the power off, don't touch anything. And then it moves on, it does a green tick, and then it's moved on to the DSP. It's quite slow. On to the last part. Okay, it's rebooted, all looks fine. Remember, we do have to factory reset. But before we do, I'm just going to show you that you can also do the factory reset by pressing, not factory reset, pressing the function. I meant, I meant the update. Go into extension. Go down to SD card. Then do, go down. Go firmware update. Mm, there you are. And that's that should be the ones we've, we've got already. The only one I'm finding strange is is the is the OPT one uh, because it's listed on the in the instruction. So I'm not understanding why that one hasn't gone in. But what I'll do, I'll see if someone else's video if they have the same thing, and then I know that's the norm. So now we'll factory reset. We'll turn it off. Hold down the bottom two buttons. Just there, oh, it's so fiddly. Turn on. Oh, I need to just get my fingers in there. It's just, it's the fine and the back. Turn it off. Fine back and then turn on. 
Come on. It's not going to let me. I'm just going to use the menu. Hold down function. Extension. Reset. Or reset. Ta-da! Like so, and now when you press and hold the function, and go back to extension, and that's what we got. Bye for now. Yesu FTX1 just on the firmware. Today is the 28th of July 2025. Just quickly testing it, so. Apparently they've added better or cat functions. I mean, I've found it's all it's all worked very well for me as it was. I have managed to get myself a GPS antenna. Let's quickly turn it on. Press and hold. Operation. Go to the bottom with the down arrow. GPS. Turn the function. Done. And let me show you my antenna. It's not the one you get from Yesu. It's, called, it's made by a company called Thinkware. You can get a 2.5 jack extension for it as well. And I'm not saying get this one, but it's the one I've got because I couldn't buy the original anyway. Let's plonk it in the GPS one, which is third one down. Just 2.5 jack. Oops, I turn on group mode there, as you can see. So that's what we're waiting for. Actually, is the is the wires X button to start working? It's see for FM does work, but not wires X. So I just plugged in the module. See if it gets a lock. See it flashing away. It will stay on. I notice with the GPS. Look at that with a hundred watt. There's no way of viewing it. Do you know what I mean? You go to APRS settings. Oh, it's off at the moment. There's no way of actually viewing when it does get a lock. But obviously, it's flashing, so I know it hasn't. Let's turn it off and just turn it back on. It got one really good yesterday. If I was outside, being fair, I was outside. Of course, dual receive, and you can swap the sub like that, look. You can't see both halves at the same time. Who knows, they might add that. So you switch, pressing that. And you obviously got the multi, the 3DS. Bye for now.